Clock in, clock in. Black like, gotta just walk in. Team like gotta stand up, man. Yo, right now we finna get into this video with YB, man. I'm pretty sure y'all see what YB been on lately, and he been on some stop the violence type time. He been on some. I've been a little bit too hot out here. I've been eating too much hot Cheeto. I need to simmer down. I need to chill. You feel me? And start drinking milk. Like Black gotta be saying, I need some milk, milk. I'm a little bit too hot out here. So much happened within that time that a lot of stuff went unnoticed. I'm talking about so much was going on. I couldn't even catch everything. But I guess that's the purpose of videos like this, so we can see what all happened as a whole. Stop the violence. Stop the violence. No, NBA young boy said I put a little sight out when he just said that. Why he did that. As stop the violence. Very surprising statement coming from the man himself, but I'm obviously in support of that message. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about yesterday, NBA Youngboy actually hopped on Instagram, which he's been doing a lot of as of lately, but he hopped on Instagram and posted a video where he said the following. It's the God Hey, stop the violence. Hey, look at me. I can promise you it's a bigger side of life. Stop the violence. What the hell is wrong with YB? What is you talking about? He hot. He up there, though. It's lit where he at. But, bro, is you good, bro? You straight? We heard you the first 500 times you said stop the violence. You had to get on top of the building to say it again. God bless that boy. You could be a rich nigga, you hear me? I can promise you. I'm talking about... I ain't gonna tell you what's in my bank account, bitch, but hey, stop the violence. You hear me? Thank you. I know he ain't just hit that thank you like that. I know he ain't just hit. I know he ain't just. I know he ain't just hit that hoe. I'm talking about he snap. Thank you. You feel what I'm saying? Hold up. I don't think I can hit it like him. That shit is rare. You hear me? Thank you. Thank you. No, I don't know why this video was so funny, time. but, you know, I laughed when I initially... Boy, that bit is too funny, you feel me? And that jacket is too level, clever, suede, groovy. Hell, you talking about... Saw it, just the way young... I know he just turned around like that. Ain't no way he just turned around like that. Fam is on all type of over-the-counter prescription drugs. He over here tripping. Look how he turned, y'all. Look. Funny, but, you know, I laughed when I initially saw it. Stupid ass boy. Why he turned around like that? Just the way. <gasps> Why he did that, bro? Why? I'm trying to understand, bro. The young boy turns around, you know, his hands out in the air like he's about to dive in a pool or something. And then he's like, stop the violence. It was funny. I posted his comment <laughs> on IG where he should definitely. Superhero. NBA young boy. Man. NBA young boy man. Nah, that ain't no good superhero name. Imagine young boy being a superhero. Young boy man or just NBA young boy. That'll be hard. Thanks, so? Me might be popping out a little a little pic soon. Allegedly, wink wink, follow me. But I dropped this comment under the post that said, Good message. I hope you keep the same energy on your records too. Given the nature of NBA young boy, you know, he's a rapper who talks about shit with niggas. Talks about that a lot as a matter of fact. But given the kind of rapper Youngboy is, this video kind of threw me off a little. And a lot of people are saying that Youngboy's trolling. Just being honest, I don't really think Youngboy's trolling with his statements at all. I think he actually means what he's saying. I mean, yeah. stop the violence. Of course, we all want. I think he means it too. It's just the extent that usually people would mean something like that at. Like, he don't mean it to that extent, but he actually does mean it. But he on some type time. Like, you play. You get on some. Want to stop the violence. Would you not agree? Especially after all the artists we've lost in the culture? Of course you would. Come on now. One reason why I don't really think Youngboy's trolling is because this kind of statement opens up Youngboy for a lot of criticism, and that criticism has been pouring in, actually. People heard him say this, and, you know, immediately people jumped the gun, no pun intended, and they said, you're saying stop the violence, but you literally built your platform off of talking about these things. You're a hypocrite, Youngboy. The way I look at it, two things can be true at once, and there's a reason. I'm pretty sure he said stop the violence, though. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to correct when mothers be wrong. I'm pretty sure he said stop the violence. Not never do the violence. You feel what I'm saying? How is you a hypocrite for saying stop the violence? Because you once 
You feel what I'm saying? Was into that. Said stop. You ain't say never do it in your life. You know, if you doing it, stop. A oh, man. You hear me? reason why I'm not gonna sit here and go off on young boy for his statement even though there's definitely a lot of hypocrisy here considering the fact that he's talking about the very thing he's uh, telling people to not talk about young boy is a prominent rapper in the culture of hip-hop as long as he stays safe which I hope he does he's not going anywhere young boy is honestly just the kind of rapper who I don't really think could ever truly fall off he's just built such an immense fan base to the point where he could probably not release any music for the next five years and his fans would still be rocking with him like he just dropped the hottest motherfucking tape and again what I'm saying is Youngboy's not going anywhere given that fact and given the fact that this is one of the hottest young rappers in the industry probably the hottest rapper if you narrow it down to his specific lane a message like this is definitely good for the genre I mean how is a message like this not good for the genre despite the obvious hypocrisy that comes into play the truth is most rappers who rap about violence are never even gonna have the courage to say something like this because like I said that would open one up for a lot of criticism and a lot of unnecessary scrutiny at least Youngboy's saying something a lot of rappers won't say which is stop the damn violence that would be very nice wouldn't it and if the violence in hip-hop could at least get decreased no cap since they using everything you say in songs now or whatever like you just say period on instagram poses and all type of extracurricular apps uh just say positive stuff even when you don't mean it we all win smile just smile Everybody gonna win. You really? That chill. Javar, sum it up. By a little, because at the rate we're going, considering the fact that on average we're losing at the very least five well known and very recognized rappers to gun violence in the genre every single year. Just this year alone, Take Off, Damn. PB Rock, Damn. JD Youngin also got shot to death this summer. He got ambushed by five people. Sean killed outside his Louisiana five, home. Yeah. Atlanta rapper Trouble also died this summer after a home invasion that took place in Atlanta. Memphis rapper Snooty Wild also died this year. He was Nowadays it's just so common to be a rapper. It's a wider variety of people who just you know, it seems like it's a lot of rappers passing away because it's just more rappers being added to the game. You feel me? So that's what make it seem like out of all these rappers, only one of these rappers been in the game for some time. Damn. I don't want to say one because I don't know. Trouble. What's he been in the game? But I know Takeoff has some time in the game for sure. He's fine with a gunshot wound to his neck in a ditch in Houston, Texas. These are all real people who are living real lives. All these men had children except for Takeoff. So I look at all the violence that's been going on in the culture and ask myself, when is it gonna stop? It's always ironic how there's always, you know, people out there who see all these deaths going on in the culture and choose to believe that it's not actually happening, which is really weird because, I mean, look at the numbers, look at the amount of rappers we've lost. Call it cognitive dissonance, if you will. I like to call it choosing to be blind. As for this conversation, though, I've spoken about it in the past and I'll say it again. It all comes down to the lifestyle and I've said this before too and I'll say this shit again. If you talk about violence in your music as a rapper, best believe that you have a target on your back. Ain't no way around that fact. If that's what you talk about, it's in the music, it's in the stories that you're telling, that's the energy that you're exuding. Unless you're very mindful of that fact, there is a chance that you will get caught in the crossfire because you're choosing to be ignorant to that fact. If you don't get caught in the crossfire, at some point, the people in the crossfire, if you don't believe me, take a look at any rapper who's alive right now who talks about violence in the music a lot, even if they're alive and standing, best believe that they've lost a minimum of two people around them to the exact they talk about. On top of that, a lot of the rappers who talk about violence not only have they lost loved ones to gun violence they've also most of the time been the victims of several attacks where they were the intended target what we've seen happen to a lot of rappers is they've been on the receiving end of violence the people who tried taking them out failed and then another situation comes where the same thing happens but this time they weren't so lucky and they die i hope young boy actually means what he says i don't really expect him to stop talking about it at all the reality is that's what he's built his platform off of it's almost like expecting mcdonald's to stop serving burgers and start serving pizzas overnight that's simply just not gonna happen when your bread and butter is you talking about violence in the music like young boy you cutting that out from your music puts your business at risk for good or for worse young boy is a businessman making music is what he does and i don't fault him for doing his job but i do fault the people for looking at guys like young boy thinking that you know he has all the answers when he doesn't he just happens to be very good at what he does he has a huge audience and that's about it anyway i still salute young boy for making that statement even though you know wrong messenger i guess it did seem like he was kind of trolling by the way regardless of that i stand behind the message so once again salute to young boy and yeah pretty sure i got the same thing i got out of that and uh we all got however we feel about the situation out of this 
And I feel like young boy is for real. He dead ass serious when he say stop the violence. Hell, he got enough money to stop the violence. He got enough money to be away from the violence at the moment. You feel me? And uh, why not? Why you got to be mad for? You feel me? On his end. But as far as everybody else listening to him, uh, that's probably not going to happen, my brother. He's obviously not making the people who don't vibe with him less mad by saying that. He's actually probably making them a little bit more pissed off like it seemed like he trolling a little bit you feel me but y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment below i might done with that uh make sure y'all go to my patreon too bro because a lot of videos that don't be able to post on here bro you get to see the full videos on patreon that's what i'm gonna start posting them at because it'd be a lot of bs going on but yeah get into that i'm not done with this clock out clock out black Gotti. just walked out